Welcome to Sunrise Meditations on the beautiful and serene Enders Island. Today is Thursday of the 25th week in Ordinary Time, and I'm your host, Deacon Francis Fallier. Alexio Divina is from the Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 9, verses 7 through 9. Let us begin our prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, who founded all the commands of your sacred law upon love of you and love of our neighbor, grant that by keeping your precepts we may merit to attain eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. And now let us listen and attend to our gospel passage. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. All glory belongs to you, O Lord. Herod the Tetrarch heard about all that was happening, and he was greatly perplexed because some were saying, John has been raised from the dead. Others were saying, Elijah has appeared. Still others, one of the ancient prophets has arisen. But Herod said, John, I beheaded. Who then is this about whom I hear such things? And he kept trying to see him. The Gospel of the Lord. All praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In today's Gospel reading according to St. Luke, Herod the Tetrarch is puzzled because He is being told that Jesus is John the Baptist, risen from the dead. At the same time, others are saying that it's Elijah, whose expected return would signal the arrival of the Messiah, or some of the form of biblical prophets has reappeared. Herod has recently beheaded John the Baptist, and the superstitious king is filled with a mixture of fear and curiosity. He kept trying to see Jesus. Herod's desire was almost entirely one of curiosity. It was the desire of the hedonist and the seeker of novelty. To see Jesus in the full gospel sense is something totally other than that. It can only happen to those who have the eyes of faith and who can see in the person of Jesus the presence and power of God himself. We may recall the request of some Greeks who told Philip they wanted to see Jesus and the reply that Jesus gave about the grain of wheat falling into the ground and dying. And we read this in John's Gospel, chapter 12, verses 20 through 26. We have not seen Jesus if we do not know him in his suffering and dying as his way to new life. So let us all, my brothers and sisters, ask to see Jesus today, a seeing that leads to a total acceptance of his way of life and following him all the way, all the way through the cross and beyond to a life eternal that never ends something for us to ponder. You know, after our closing prayer, reread this scripture passage again. Contemplate its message over and over. Concentrate on a thought that comes to you either through a verse or even just a small word that touches you. And ask the Holy Spirit to show you how it pertains to you and how you may spiritually grow closer to him in friendship. Let us complete our divine reading with a closing prayer. Let us pray. Having contemplated your divine word and embraced the sacred truths you teach us, complete within us, O Lord, we pray, the healing work of your mercy. For even now, as we walk amid all these passing things, you teach us by them to love the things of heaven and hold fast to what endures. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the peace of the Lord Jesus be upon you always and in all ways. And may his generous blessings fill your day with joy 
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You know, if you enjoy listening to these daily meditations, and if you haven't already done so, here it comes. Please hit the subscribe button and help support our channel. And share these links with others. Pass them along to your friends and relatives as well. God bless you all. Have a great day. And join us again tomorrow for another Lexio Divina, a divine reading of God's sacred word. Pax et bonum omnibus. Peace and blessings to all.